Hey everyone, I'm Jeannie of the WPT Royal Flush Crew and I'm so excited to be here in Boston, Massachusetts today. Boston is home to one of our two-time WPT champions and he is going for his third title at the WPT Borgata Winter Poker Open final table next month. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to know Brian Altman. So Boston is your home, is this where you were born? Uh, I actually grew up in the western part of the state uh, in Longmeadow, a small town outside of, next to Springfield, uh, but I've been living here for like four years. And what was, uh, what was your childhood like? What was it like growing up there? Uh, I grew up in a small town with my mom and dad and my two brothers. I was the middle child and uh, my upbringing was great. Um, you know, I was a pretty happy kid mm -hmm. and I did pretty well in school and then I uh, I wrestled in high school and did and did pretty well in that. That was a big part of my life before I got involved in poker. I uh, transitioned into doing some coaching um, when I was home for winter break. I would go back to my high school team and coach oh, cool. my younger brother. And uh, yeah, it was it was really nice to stay a part of the sport. When I was applying to school, I I've always wanted I always wanted to do something with medicine. I was like working as a pharmacy technician, uh, a, min a minimum wage job and. I was making a little bit more than minimum wage playing low stakes poker online and I was like, ah, I'm gonna quit my job and give this a try. So I think at that point, like even though I hadn't like had any success, really any true success, um, I had enough confidence in myself that I would be able to figure this out and make it work. What was your first job? My first job, I was a little league umpire. Wow, um, how old were you? I probably started when I was like 13. Oh my god! Like, yeah, it was like you got paid. The, it was like one of the, it, was, it was sick. <laughs> I was getting like 35 bucks a game for like what? a two-hour game. Yeah, it was it was sick for like for like you know you can't get any job at 13. Yeah, I, was, I don't know if that's like legal um, <laughs> under yeah. the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, and cool. then uh, I was a camp counselor. Okay. And then I was a pharmacy technician briefly. And then I uh, became a professional poker player. Wow. The natural progression. Yeah. That's how everyone does it, right? <laughs> what did your parents think when you first started playing poker or, you know, maybe when you quit your job, you know, what did your parents think about that? I think they were, like most parents would be, I think they were a little hesitant at first. And live was my first big score was uh, my WPT. I was still living at home at the time, um, kind of bouncing around. And I remember talking to my mom and I was like, hey, I think I think I'm gonna go down to Florida to play. I'd never played poker in Florida before, and you had I, never played poker in no, Florida before. That was, that was my first, first, first time, time in Florida, yeah. And oh I just, my and I just gosh! Won. And I was like, "You think I should go?" She was like, "Yeah, go. Like, you should go." Like, because I travel so much for poker, when I'm home, it's actually like a vacation for me. So I take it pretty easy. I uh, I eat good food. I wake up every morning, drink my coffee. Uh, chill. Get, go to the gym, <laughs> chill, and then meet up with my friends at night. Nice. What do you guys like to do at night? Uh, we go to trivia every week, and occasionally we'll go to uh, a brewery in the area. I actually know a great spot if you want to go. Yeah, I would love to. Let's do it. How would you describe yourself? As you put a French fry in your mouth, <laughs> we can wait till you're done. Currently hungry. <laughs> currently, currently hungry. Um, how would I describe myself? Yeah. I um, I'm very easygoing, but uh, I can be competitive. So generally, when I get involved in something, I'm kind of all in on it, um, and I will put uh, the majority of my focus and energy towards that. So poker has been that thing for the last 15 years of my life. Speaking of just WPTs, then you won your second WPT title, mm -hmm. becoming the first player in WPT history to win the same event twice, the Lucky Hearts Poker Open, mm -hmm. just this, this uh, couple months ago, season 18. Mm -hmm. So how did that, I mean, that must have really cemented, you know, cemented your place and you made history. You're the first person to do that. How did that feel? It feels amazing to make history and win the same World Poker Tour event twice, uh, being the first person to ever do that. Uh, and now to have the opportunity to win back-to-back -back titles just a few days later, I, you know, I hopped on a plane to Atlantic City, you know, made the final table of WPT Borgata and I get to play it out in Vegas and 
uh, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to uh, just for the opportunity and to be in this position to potentially make history and join the select few of players that have won back-to-back -back titles. Hey, I love the WPT and uh, I was gonna play the stop. I've gotten to know the staff really well. The um, it just kind of feels like a family. The the stops are always in cool locations. The structures of the tournaments are great. They attract big prize pools. The schedules are fantastic. They, they just kind of do everything right. So this is my first live televised final table being out there and you know performing. Well, I'm excited to play under such a big stage. Really looking forward to the experience. So your friends are obviously very important to you. Do you think I'll get a chance to meet them while I'm here in Boston? Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna do trivia tonight so you'll get to meet them. No way. All right so is this the spot here? Yeah this is Mavericks. They have live music during the week and on Tuesdays they have trivia. Awesome. This is where you and your friends come every Tuesday? Yeah. I knew that he played poker. I didn't know that that was what he did. He's not one of those people that just like flaunts it and super humble and clearly he knows what he's doing. I've known Brian for about 10 years since I met my husband. Brian is very driven. He sticks to his schedule. He's very passionate about the things that he cares about. He wants to win as badly as anyone else, but like he'll never let you know it until he's beat you. And when he decides that he wants to do something, he does it well. Love you, buddy. Crush it. I know you will. Best of luck and go get them. Do the best that you can. Just do your thing and uh, if you're not first, you're last. And I'll be watching right from my couch, <laughs> yelling at you through the TV. <laughs> the World Poker Tour, Borgata Winter Poker Open. And he has a final table there. So let's give him a nice round of applause. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Yeah, that was a great time. Thanks for swinging through Boston. <laughs> Absolutely, I had a blast. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Brian Altman as much as I did.